So this is a question from Clive. And Clive asks, I believe in your podcast, you recommend not eating olive oil. This is true, Clive. And I will talk about why in a moment. He says he listens to a podcast with Dr. Gundry in which a study was done using Windstar rats, which have a short lifespan. And the Windstar rats were given olive oil and the olive oil prolonged the life. So Clive asks, does it not make sense to add olive oil to your diet for health and longevity? So I find the link to the podcast he's talking about with Dr. Gundry, who I've had on the podcast in the past and debated in a friendly manner. And there's no studies referenced in the podcast that I can see. So I find the study that they're referring to, and I'll show it on the screen. Lo and behold, the details of the study matter a whole heck of a lot. So you can see here with this study, the title is Dietary Extra Virgin Olive Oil Rich in Phenolic Antioxidants and the Aging Process, Long-Term Effects in the Rat. Well, when you look at what's done in these type of studies in detail, things become a little more clear. So the male rats were fed from age 12 months to senescence, which is death, essentially, a high-calorie diet. So they're already high-calorie feeding the rats. And that diet contained either corn oil or extra virgin olive oil, uh, low or high in phenols. <laughs> well, we basically have our answer right there. If you're comparing olive oil to standard chow in a rat, which contains a seed oil like corn oil, of course an olive oil, which has less linoleic acid, which we know is absolute poison for rats, and I believe poison for humans, is going to look better than a corn oil in rats. Corn oil makes rats fat, it makes them diabetic, it gives them non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, it gives them all sorts of problems. And if you give them olive oil instead of that, yes, that's going to look much better than corn oil. That doesn't mean in any way, shape, or form that we should include olive oil in our diet. I've talked about olive oil so many times, and my problems with olive oil are the following. Most olive oil is adulterated. It's got vegetable oils, it's got seed oils in it, which put more linoleic acid in there, and the peroxide values for routinely measured olive oils are pretty abysmal when you look at it. And I will show you guys some peroxide values for avocado oil as well, because this is a very interesting thing. So why am I not a fan of olive oil? Is it because I'm extremely dogmatic? No, it's because when you make olive oil out of olives, it is very difficult to preserve that oil without having it be oxidized. And olive oil is such a big industry that a lot of it is adulterated. Why would you not eat animal fat? Why would you not eat tallow, which is higher in stearic acid, much higher in stearic acid, and has things like odd chain fatty acids, 15 and 17 carbon fatty acids, pentadecanoic and heptadecanoic acid, which we know are helpful for humans. By not eating animal fats, butter, tallow, you are missing out on valuable nutrients. I've done a lot of content on stearic acid in the past and talked about why I think this molecule is so valuable for humans. I haven't even gone down the odd chain fatty rabbit. I haven't even gone down the odd chain fatty acid rabbit hole, but these are valuable for humans too, and they occur primarily in animal fats. Well, Paul, I need to put something on my salad. And as my friend Andrew Huberman jokingly said to me, tallow doesn't do well on a salad. Too much for to which my response is, why are you eating a salad? <laughs> why are you doing that? Okay, I get it, but also I don't get it because I don't see a point in eating leaves or stems or roots or seeds of plants. So I'm not a fan of olive oil. If you're not eating salad, definitely don't eat olive oil. Look at this study and I'll show you the peroxide values for the olive oil. So as you can see here, this is a number of different olive oils. Uh, the title of the study is The Quality of Argentinian Virgin Olive Oil. And the definition to be extra virgin is less than 20 milli equivalents per kilogram. But these are some pretty hefty peroxide values. You really don't want a peroxide value that's this high, in my opinion. I've seen fish oil peroxide values that are between 5 to 10. I wouldn't want to put something which, with that high of a peroxide value in my body. Here's 12.1, 14.8. One of the olive oils was 20.1 milli equivalents of oxygen per kilogram. That's a pretty high peroxide value. 12.5, 16.1, 15.5. Many of these olive oils don't even meet the definition of extra virgin, and many of them have many have, and many of them have other quality metrics in which they fail. Here they say. Using EC regulation from November 6, 20, 2003, as a reference, only three of the 15 extra virgin olive oil samples analyzed uh, from the 2006 season and two of the 10 samples analyzed uh, actually can be considered to have acceptable quality. Again, this is the study on olive oil here, purity, quality, and stability of Argentinian virgin olive oils. Only 20% 
were considered to have acceptable quality. Many of them appeared to be at least in some way adulterated, meaning other lower quality oils are added to them. And their peroxide values, though at the cusp of what should be considered appropriate, are higher than I want to put in my body. A lot of olive oil is badly oxidized. I will also mention that through a friend, I heard about a prominent olive oil advocate who got in a little bit of trouble recently when his olive oil had to be recalled from the stores because the peroxide value was too high in those olive oils. You don't wanna be eating rancid, oxidized oil. It's gonna create extra oxidative stress in your body. You want an oil that's more stable. Animal fats are that way. Butter, tallow, nothing is perfect in this case, but those oils are gonna be much lower in those peroxide values. I'm not a fan of olive oil. Also, furthermore, Olive oil is high in linoleic acid. If you look at the amounts of linoleic acid in olive oils, you're gonna find between 10, 15, some even 20% linoleic acid in the olive oil. You are pumping yourself full of a fat that I believe accumulates in human bodies and causes problems for humans. I've done many podcasts on my concerns with seed oils, which are the primary source of, of which are the primary source of linoleic acid for humans, but olive oil is just going to increase the amount of linoleic acid in your diet. And I believe that if humans really want to thrive and we really want to be lean, getting the lowest amount of linoleic acid is the way to live.